Cool. We live. Hey guys. Hope you're all doing alright. Um, yeah, so... Had lunch. It was good. I had a walk. It was also good. Um, so... Back to it. Um, we're going to... Um, start by just like, doing some texture transfer stuff. Um, I've decided I'm going to use, just as a temp thing, uh, I'm going to use the 3D scan store, um, like, head that I got from Mona. Uh, the texture looks like this, so it will require some grading, but it's also not a big deal. Um, so, yeah, just because the detail in this thing is fucking insane. Um, so I really want to kind of see what we can get out of this, basically. Um, so, yeah, not really much else to say. I'm just going to get started on copying all this over. So, we need to get into wrap. Um, I'm going to export this as it currently is. In fact, actually, before I do that, I need to close the eyes and the UVs, don't I? So let's go into the UV editor. Okay. So, UV editing. So we're just going to go in, grab these. Can I do world X symmetry? Or is that's not going to work, is it? We'll just um, symmetrize it after the fact. Hey, Josh, how's it going, man? Those XYZ Tesho scan store. Scan store. They're the ones that I uh, was given for the Mona project. And so I figured for a starting point, I'll use those. There's some beautiful work in those. Uh, so let's. Tools. It's not perfect, but it will work. Um, let's grab this area as well. Tools. Smooth. Is there like a... Small like it. Tools. So is the optimize. Yes, yeah, so we don't want that. Okay. So we're just gonna go in. Select these symmetries. Okay. Tools symmetries. Okay. 
Come on. There we go. I'd love it if it actually let me select these. Select all this area again. Okay, tools. Oh, God, <laughs> you were just working. a moment ago. Uh, so Mike, what did you eat? Um, salmon steak with eggs, a shit ton of spinach, rice, and some bread. Nothing too fancy. Please just let me... Aha! There we go. Exported. Modeling, Maya, exports. Cool. I'm just going to wrap. And then we're just going to do geometry, and oh no, sorry, load, load geom. Um, Do another load. This one goes to Asset Library, 3D Scan Store, HD Heads, Female, um, FPX, Head OBJ. Okay, and then Allison is like way up there, yeah. Transform. forget which one goes in where, so let's do a wrap. So the fixed geometry is going to be this one. The floating geometry is going to be that one, which I assume means same order. Um, sync views. So we'll just do a really basic lineup. Go with 
Ta. I just want to see if this works. I'm gonna put the minimum amount of time into this. If it works, then we'll spend more time lining it up. So, compute. There we go. JPEG face. For now, let's grab that because it'll be the most visible one. See if it works. Um, set texture. See, that's pretty decent. Need some work back here, but so let's do a texture transfer source target. We'll do the full res. I hate doing 16k, but we'll just do it. Um, so let's do properties. In fact, let's just do 8k. Just do 8k. 8192. 8192. This. this is wrap. Um, back in wrap, transferring existing textures. Yeah, I'm just going to do a quick test with um, some textures. See how it looks. Save image. Okay, we're just going to go into CG projects. Projects. Um, let's do time for a folder. Uh, O2 texturing. Free DS. OK. 
Okay. Um, off EDS, let's say call. This will be image. One to zero one. Call. And then we'll do tiff. Okay. In theory, that's enough. Just make sure it created it. Yeah, that's worked. Oh, actually, we need to dilate. Is it dilate? Hmm. Extrapolate, there we go. To do this thing. There we go. That's better. Okay. Yeah, it's worth it though. Um, the price. Okay, so we've just got one Udim here. Um, Honestly, like I'll probably end up not using the color for a while and just use the other maps because this color is ballpark what we want. Um, we need skin. There you are. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna edit, duplicate, without network. Um, texturing, right. yep, 3DS call, SSRGP, then I'm just going to put, this won't work, but I'm just going to put UDEM. And then missing texture color. Just like that. Um, okay, so view, store snapshot. I just want to see if it works. Save this. Actually, something I need to do. Test manager.
Oh, yeah, ignore missing touches. This is ballpark the color. Obviously, it doesn't line up correctly, but. We can always blend these two together. Use the color from this one, but the value from this one. I'll say I think as a ballpark that will work fine. So, HSV. HSV. Okay, then we gotta do. Oh. HSV. RGB to HSV. This is how you merge things with like the dirtiest, dirtiest technique. So, we want to do. The hue and saturation from this guy, and the value from this guy. And what that'll do is keep the colors from my ZBrush texture, but use the values from this. So we mix them both. See how it's got like more information than this. I have to let it clean up for a bit. We can also blend it. Like, take this, blend it with the original map. I'm not sure what that is. Interesting. Blend the two of them, honestly. Let's do layer RGBA.
That kind of works. It's got a little bit of a thing in here and it touches, but not in the world. Okay, so I'm going to create folders for the other textures too. Um, okay, so we're going to go with... Let's go with face normal first. It's going to take a little moment. It's now got to go through and reprocess all the stuff, which takes time. in them to a fault because I need to remove a lot of this but it is what it is there we go that's worked okay so save image it's gonna go norm norm I assume it can create Folders it can. Sweet. Okay, so back into Maya. We're just gonna grab that one, was it? Yep. Then edit, duplicate. Grant network. Okay, then this one is data. And the missing color used to be um, 0 0.5, 
Okay, while well, that does its thing, let's break everything by adding another map. I do face roughness. Oh god, <laughs> I love that. Um, okay, so we're just going to replace norm with spec R. That normal map's not really showing up that much, is it? Like, it's there, but... It doesn't seem to be doing a huge amount. I'm wondering if input needs to be... That looks promising. My logic was it's a tangent normal map, but guess this is working a bit better. Let's try increasing that, see what happens. So Mike, are you a League of Legends person? No, actually. Um, I, and I don't really play that many video games, to be honest. I'm more likely to play a PlayStation 2 than anything else. But I've still got an original PlayStation 2 on the other side of the room. I play that a lot. Um, I'm waiting... Um, I say waiting. I'm intending on getting back into Escape from Tarkov at some point. But that's also kind of you know, up in the air. Okay, this is still working. Um, right, okay, so we got spec R as well, so let's just go edit, duplicate, without network. This one will be spec R. Data.
So this IOR is going to need to change because I'm not doing a double layered spec because this material doesn't allow it. I can do a blend material to add coat on top later. Okay, then the spec map. Okay, let's remove the R. Repeat current frame. that. I'll need to rename these at some point soon as well. Duplicate without network. So this one is just spec. We'll go to data, generic data. So this one I'll plug into... I should plug into color. Yeah, I'll plug into color. Okay, alt save. Then we'll get the disp. Get that all working and pretty. I will remap this as well. Because I quite like having quite bright spec. I enjoy the way it looks. Close that blind, it's a bit bright. that a little bit. Um, let's create a remap. But what? Mm. It's range, isn't that? I always forget. I'll do an AI clamp as well. Okay, so it's going to increase the gain of that a little bit. Um, so point seven five. Preview is really weird. Not point seven five. You saw a snapshot. Sorry about knocking the microphone though. It's gone darker. Tafuk. Last game I played was an MMO and I regret investing money into the game. It's bounced it down. Yeah, I've, I've never been able to get on with MMOs. Like for whatever reason, I just don't enjoy them. I did put that into the right finger, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, 
how about we set that back to 0.5. And I increase this guy output max, so two. That'd be too bright, but the weird how game was doing that though. That's more like it. Feels a bit metallic now though. So we have to set that to maybe like three eight. Oh, that map mapping is a bit aggressive. Map no bias. Okay, we'll reduce the map, map bias on this guy. Let's go not minus three. Yeah, it stays stays strong. And we'll do it on this guy too. Let's do minus two. Minus two. Minus two. I've gone higher on the normals just because that's a bit more sensitive, typically. Is there a difference between gain and multiply? No. Um, at least as far as I'm aware, in most implementations, they're the exact same thing. Um, typically, they, the reason there's a gain and a multiply in the same node, though, is because all the operations happen in a particular order. And so when you have multiply, you might multiply something and then bias it. And then you need to multiply it back up after the biasing or the gamma. Bias and gamma are kind of the same thing. Um, and so having gain and multiply, or multiply and gain, that do the same thing but at different points gives you more control over the outcome of your color correct. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna get the displacement in there now. So, go to here, displacement. This is a big boy, isn't that? Um, let me just double check. Properties. 16k, yeah, so 16384. It's a big boy. As well as not mute, I apologize. Okay, so we're gonna transfer texture. One six three eight four. And now I wait again. I do wish there was like a kind of bake system, like you could enter a number and not apply it immediately. No worries, Vivian. Um, one, six, three, eight, four. So this one will take twice as long. So how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, disconnecting the node actually is a good idea. But it feels cumbersome, right? Like, it'd be nicer if there's just like a bake button here. So it does nothing until you hit bake and maybe the node is red when the change goes into it and it doesn't get updated. Kind of like the cache node in uh, Mahari. Okay. The amount of resolution on these is fucking insane. Um, so this one, we're going to do disp. Disp. There we go. 
That is a one gigabyte file, by the way. <laughs> so, AI image. Uh, duplicate without network. I'm going to arrange this slightly. So this one is going to be disp. I need to do that in a bunch of others as well. Okay, so this one needs to be... Um, AI range. It's got an active one. Actually, no. No. It's output that needs to change. There we go. Um, and then we're going to multiply. Yeah, multiply. Is there a float? See, some stuff in... Yeah, it's got a float math. Um, there's some stuff in V-Ray that I really like. Um, set this to multiply. So that's our strength now. Then layer RGBA. In fact, we'll do a float math for this as well. Fuck up. I like to be consistent with the nodes I use. So these two will be added together. Cool. This one's multiplied, but will be way too strong. I'll show you in a moment. Um. It's so high res, I don't think we need to mitmap bias it less than that. Because that's already a 4k map at negative 2. Uh, sorry, at 2 mitmaps. 2 levels of mitmap. It'll be at uh, 4k. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Sorry, I think that's one of the best broken disps I've ever seen. That's horrific. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this from I'm gonna let this render, I'm gonna send it to Allison. <laughs> not not fuel. That's incredible. Amazing how well though the rombo shader holds up. Like that's holding up remarkably well, like the subsurface obviously like freaking out in these areas, but Um, file, save image, desktop, true, B-E-A-U-T. And yes, I still spell beautiful using uh, Bruce Almighty. Fight me. Um, not by one. Not by one probably still be a bit strong, but we'll see. Actually, that's okay. Maybe a little bit bumpy, but... Did 
So I need to let that clean up for a while. Really bumpy on the lips still. Really bumpy on the lips still. That's not pretty. Why are the lips are bumpy though? Because everything else looks okay. Like it's, it's obviously strong and in the wrong place, but like. Let's get the uh let's go half that. We just wanted to add like a very subtle kind of warbling type of thing. This is looking a bit more promising. <sighs> the spec is looking really dull. Like, not dull as in rough, but dull as in kind of uninteresting. Let's see if there's any close-up pictures of Allison's eyes, actually. I'm about to read the chat for a moment, it's going to full screen this. Let's do a super quick light match on the color match, even on the eyes. Um, How bright is point two? Some of this difference will come from um, the lighting, so I'm not going to go all the way to matching this.
I'm missing a lot of like, the creases and stuff. Really smooth. Oh, she's got a really sharp line there, hasn't she? sharpen up the um, blend and not that much. Like the uh, fall off is way too soft. I don't like the lips. Um, shall we do a super quick So snapshot. Color correct. Let's color convert. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna reduce the saturation slightly, like nine. Not be too far already. Let's go nine five. Also, that might be enough already. It goes without saying I'll be painting over this at some point in terms of like actually painting over the um, texture itself. Um, these eyes are too bright, aren't they? I hear that selecting the geo automatically um, fucks about with it. Uh, I'm gonna shift the hue ever so slightly. I'm like 33 or something. So let's go for e. Let's go thirty. I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm doing one color, whereas this is a variety of colors. But and there's a touch too bright. Caruncle. Oh my god, stop updating. Okay, so we're just gonna darker and more saturated, but let's go darker first. Let's go 3-5. Three, 3-5. Five. Three. One.
Oh yeah, I need to, uh... Uh, are you also going to do the grooming? Yes, yes, I'll be doing groom for this. Um, where do you like to do your hard surface stuff, my or ZBrush? I don't do hard surface, but usually if I do props, I will block them out in... Well, I'll do most of it in Maya, to be honest. Uh, unless it's like robot e concept stuff, but that I don't do very often. Might be a bit too pink compared to my skin color. Let's go. Let's go set this to zero. Okay, let's set it to one then. Jesus. Okay. So I need to sharpen up the border a little bit. On your softness. Two. And this is a bit too sharp. Point three. That feels better. So I need to adjust the size. your first alien creature project not even close um, I've got sculpts from there's one on my YouTube because speed sculpt from years ago oh, speed sculpt I if I can find it videos I'm just gonna full screen this Yeah, I mean, I've got this from eight years ago. Let's mute it. Literal alien buster. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, it was... Eight years ago. April 5th, 2015. So we're coming up in nine years. And look, hard surface. <laughs> yeah. I think there's older ones too. I know the, I got the goblin, which I never finished. Let me get some guitar videos. Go back far enough. Um. Yeah, I think that would be the first alien that I did. But yeah, I got like sculpts from almost 10 years ago now on her. One of the strangest sculpts I ever did. It's a plant pot man. I don't know why either, don't ask. start with aliens after humans. I mean, I'd argue that aliens are probably an easier place to start. <laughs> so what happens now? If I just... Why did that? So that's the polypaint. Let's plug that directly into her. Now I've got all the other maps plugged in, like, how does this look? A bit flat, really, doesn't it?
Did that actually happen to paint it in, or is that like a fucked up? Um, is that like a UV smooth issue? Um, right, okay, so, next thing. So we got all the maps on the, granted, basic passes, but still. Um, is it worth me taking the eyes? Uh, let's create another. Come on. Oh my god, I'm trying. There we go. Um,. Textures, JPEG, eyes, it's got the eyeball texture. Don't like that. Do not like that at all. Um, I'm just wondering if um, I could use that as a bump. Um, I'm just use, wondering if I can grab any of these, really. I can probably alter these a little bit to get what I want out of them. Of course, could always use Ulfa Wilson as well. Sure, what to do right now? This is absolute shit. To what needs doing? Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do first. I can try to add a layer of spec. Um, reflect. Makes closures. These ones in use. Um, this is essentially our coat layer. Oh, is it responding to the bump below it? If so, that's really cool. Brighter, it is.
So I'll look around for a moment. There's a little bit more interest on there. Seriously. So what we would do is set that um, that second spec as like a wetness, basically. Just mask it in where you need it, kind of thing. Uh, what I can do as well is get the roughness, which I believe is this guy. It is. Do the same thing as here. Edit, duplicate without network. Okay. Then reflect roughness. What we'll do is just set that to 0.5. So it means it's half the um, roughness. So it stays relative, basically. It's fine. It seems a bit bright though. Oh, that'd be why. So that's a double spec. That works fairly well. course like it means that having this at 0.1 mix um, ends up creating um, so it ends up taking energy away so everything gets darker with spec being bright in some areas which isn't necessarily what you'd want because what you'd want is areas where the spec hits is where well, I guess the spec hits at every angle <sighs> yeah a mix is technically more correct but artistically what you'd want is to basically just have it that based on the camera how much spec is coming out um i put in a hint of iowa variation there yeah it's not something i do very often um but it is definitely helpful to do Yeah, we'll need to uh, spend a bit of time just cleaning this up. I mean, granted, we need to do some texturing, like actual texturing. Um, these just give us a good place to start, basically. The 
still need to model the clothing. Give it thickness and all that jazz. Might quickly model the meniscus in here. I expect it to move around, but it's still helpful to have. At some point, I should probably just fucking like buy Mari, uh, not Mari, buy um, Houdini, because I can probably set up a generator for meniscus. Like it would be relatively easy, relatively in the keyword. Um, all I'd have to do is find the point at which the eye and the the skin intersect, turn that into a line, then scale the line in, map it to the um, sclera, like as in like raycast it, and then scale it forward, raycast it to the eyelid, and just loft the three of those curves, and that will give you a meniscus. Uh, it would be relatively trivial to do that. Then the rest of the variation can come from shader. And because you've lofted the surface, assuming it's closed loops, you're gonna end up with um uh you're gonna end up with like UVs that go zero to one. So it's really easy as well to like kind of blend uh, the normals of that. something. Have apprentice under anybody? No? I've I've been doing this for a while now. Um as I said earlier, like I've been learning like full time. I've been doing CG pretty much eight hours a day since two thousand twelve. Besides interns and jobs. I've never done an internship. Um I just went straight from being a student to being a junior. Internships are a pretty good way in, but it's just not what I did. Let's see what the specs looking like. Yeah, that specs way more interesting now. Way better. Now that we have the dual layers, actually, we can go back to having this a more reasonable. It's still a snapshot. That feels better. I'm going to continue to look through. Instagram for eye close-ups. If I don't find any Alaska, I think getting people's actual eyes into the projects is always a really nice touch. close-ups.
last night. Seem to have any. What does supposed to enhance? I'm guessing you mean the IOR. Uh, basically, increasing the IOR. How oh, I can explain this visually. Um, adding a bigger IOR makes the spec broader, like it covers more physical space without making it rougher. So you can have glossy reflections ac across more of the surface. Um, Iowa physically, the way that I vastly oversimplify it is, sorry, I'm just going to restart the playlist. Um, the way that I like to vastly oversimplify Iowa is it's the density of a surface uh, or volume. So the reason I oversimplify it to that and the reason I say it's oversimplified is because, generally speaking, the more hard an object is, the higher the IOR is. So, things like, well, air has an IOR of 1.0001, something like that. Um, water's 1.3-ish. Skin's 1.4-ish. Um, chrome is like 3. Diamond is 2.4. Um, wood is 1.5, 1.6, so you can kind of see how um, materials, again, oversimplified because diamond is harder than chrome, um, but generally speaking, you get uh, more IOR as the surface gets denser. Um, and I think it's quite a good thing to, to figure out. But yeah, so increasing the IOR basically, see how that's just got a little bit brighter? and spreads out a bit further. Like, it's a very subtle effect, but it does have an effect. I might sit down here better. That's higher IOR, lower IOR. See how this reflection covers more space? That's what IOR does. Um. All right. I had to take the skin tone paler, but I think for now that will do. Um, the iris color is way too bright. Well, not iris, uh, sclera color is way too bright. already. It's still a little ways off, but yeah, I appreciate that. I might try the skin layers material now that I've got more things in place to see how it looks, how it compares. But yeah, I'm going to do that now. Um, view, store, snapshot. So, let's go to the skin. There it is. I'm just going to create a skin layers. And now we start plugging stuff in. So, we got the SSS. I think SSS albedo we can leave alone. Uh, mix is about 0.8 ish. Um, we got the. What are you doing? We got the normals. So, where's. Do you want 
tree. Ugh. Um, I'm going to assume... Does it have to be bump? Alright, this might break. If it does, so be it. Uh, this one is reflection color, so we're going to spec reflection color. So weight to one. That one's a roughness, isn't it? It is. So roughness. Cool. And then the next one in line with that's all of them. Okay. So set that to four two. And then I'm just gonna, okay. Oh, it'd help if we actually uh, replace it, right? That's the peach for those violet things. I'm going to reduce that because that's way too intense. Funny enough, it's actually close to the ref. Just through the grade being different. That's my SSS blend, so to kill that. Um, 2 5, okay. Let's make it a fair comparison. I hate just eyeballing diffuse values or do measure them in Photoshop. Just eyeballing for now. I mean, this is beyond block out. Like, I've literally just grabbed textures, thrown them on. Um, once I start doing actual texturing, then we'll. I mean, I'll still eyeball it. I tend not to worry too much about color picking. Um, and the reason I don't is because unless you've got an exact, like, HDR of your scene, like a calibrated lighting scene, which is the same spot the photos or reference was taken, you're never going to match it just using texture, because the light is also a contributor to that. And so I think it's kind of a waste of time to exactly match it when the lighting itself isn't necessarily an exact match. Um, so it's different in a studio environment where you've got the scans and the, the ICT lighting and all that sort of stuff, but it's a, a different world with the, all the other stuff. Quite like what the skin layers is doing. It's handling this bit very differently. I'm not entirely sure why. in here being handled a little bit better. I think what it is is the shallow um, that is what it is actually it's the, it's the shallow subsurface is adding that touch of blue because you can only see it in areas near shadows, you don't see it in the shadows. So you see it like right here for example and that's the shallow colour here
I do think it's a little bit much. Especially given how different our albedo is to that town. Wait, there's servers. We're losing a bit of information though, like our shadows are getting a bit more shallow. Like, I'm not sure which one I prefer. There's elements of both that I like. I feel like skin layers, we're losing a bit too much information. Like it's flattening out the shadows a bit too much. This one is the most visible, but you see it a bit on the nose. We're losing this. We're losing anything here? Yeah, we're losing that a little bit. We are getting a nice look here, though. This is more converged at this point now, though. So it'll start getting on fair soon, because this is a way cleaner image. Uh, I'm going to let this finish, and then I'll render with the random walk as well, and let that completely finish, and we'll compare then. Um, hey, Creams, how's it going, man? Oh, Will Tennyson's uploading a new video. That was fast straight to the dev. Yeah, I mean, the look dev's got a long way to go yet, but I always find it helpful to get look dev in there sooner rather than later. Oh, yeah, we're losing that quite a lot. Losing that shadow too. Okay, I think that's complete enough. So let's view store snapshot. I'm just going to plug this guy back in, which is set up close to identically. I mean, they're the same, almost the same material. And then we just let that finish. <laughs> Lots of waiting around in this stream. It gets worse with time. The more I start look deving, the, the slower everything gets. But. We shall see. Oh, got mute microphone and play some guitar. Um, in terms of render engines, um, I used to use Renderman on all my projects. Um, up until I think Sticky Monsters. Um, so Dragon Boy, Rowan Creature, FK Twigs were all Renderman, and since then it's been Arnold, which just makes life a lot easier.
Render's starting to clean up a bit. Yeah, I think I prefer random walk. Just because it's maintaining our details a lot more and the color is a bit more faithful to the actual, like, color of the project. It's still not the same, but I mean, I don't think it would be given how bright our lighting is. fucking chair every time. Come on. Oh no, it's actually broke now. Interesting to see how you'll get the exact skin colour and redness of the painting. Uh, I think it's simpler than you make it out to be. Um, oh, the wheels come off again. <sighs> One moment. deal with it when you're in a kitchen chair. Um, but yeah, so like matching skin colors isn't that difficult when you keep it simple. Um, all you have to do is just, hey, the skin's more blue in the reference, so I paint it more blue. <laughs> like, it's, it's quite simple. Um, that's the thing, like one of the reasons you lock into a specific shader early is because you can make adjustments in your textures and you don't have to worry about the changes of a shader, which is why right now I'm testing out the different Rambo materials, because I don't know how they interact. Um, so I'm seeing now, it's like, okay, which one has more of the look that I like? In this case, I'm pretty certain now it's the uh, random walk material. Um, there is something quite nice to the, um, the skin layers, and to be fair, if we did switch to skin layers, uh, later on, all I have to do is like tweak that blue um, so it's not as weighty, like the the shallow layer. Um, so I could reduce the weight on this, or reduce the um, reduce the radius, um, and that will reduce the tint overall and probably in increase the shadows again. And then I could just color correct the texture. But yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I I prefer random walk. Cool. Um, so we need to get that which I didn't notice into the sculpt. So let's kill that. Uh, we'll take this into ZBrush because we're now updating multiple things. Um, so export selection. Oh, that's why the things don't line up. Um, I just now realized I changed the UVs without updating my ZBrush maps, which is why the, the eyes are a bit balked now. Um, yeah, that's fine. We can close this as well. I will save it, but um, save project as. Projects, personal projects, transfixed, texturing, off 3 ds ah, let's put it in here, um, 3D, scan, store, transfer, go on, cool. Let's 
So we need to get that little Surface screen again. I really need to look into this area still. Um, just export that back out. I'm going to save a version. Anytime you update your displacement, you need to update your model too. ZBrush, uh, sculpting, exports. Okay. So then we just go to here. Um, displacement. ZBrush. Okay. Oh, it's actually worked the same. All right, never mind. We won't close ZBrush. Okay. So, file import. as well. Um, uh, any plans on maybe one day animating your portraits? No, not really. It's not really something that interests me too much. Okay, we got it. 
into on old flush caches. Um, no. Tilties. This might take a moment. It's getting dark for the camera. One sec. Constant static shocks in this place. But it's still processing. give it a few minutes before I assume it's crashed. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. You hit it in this room is actually all right. Um, I think it's just the combination of things I wear. I'm always wearing thermals, so I don't like having heating on too much. So I just wear thermals, blow machines. How much of um, how much space does this type of project take up on an average computer? Well, let's find out, shall we? So, going to disp, personal projects. Let's go to John Singer Sergeant properties. John Singer Sergeant is 65 gigabytes. Uh, let's go to Gustav Doré properties. 26 gigabytes. Mona, which isn't finished. Properties. 319 gigabyte? <laughs> oh, no, that's the person projects folder, okay. Um, I was gonna say, like, Jesus. Properties. Mona's 44 gigabytes. Twigs. Properties. 46 gigabytes. Sticky monsters. Uh. 49 gigabytes, so about 40 to 50 gigabytes seems the standard. Uh, 
my groom studies. My Oliver Tree project. Which is like the Oliver Tree, like, quick. Uh, groom. It was 2 gig. Okay, it crashed in that. Yeah, there's a reason I bought that oh, furnace is completely dead, isn't that? That's task manager. Processes. Rest in peace, Maya. Saved. 418. Nah, nothing has really changed since then. Just need to re import the uh, base model. File, import. <laughs> You've been walking, uh, rocking jeans in the house. Uh, yeah, I mean, what I'm wearing right now is pretty much what I always wear when I'm at home. I also tend to dress a bit nicer when I'm leaving the house. But. Like, you know, I've got like shirts and jumpers and stuff I like to wear, but. Uh, sculpting exports. There we go. Atlanta. Form. Blend shape. Okay. Then we'll go into the. Utilities, TX manager. Okay, I guess I'll start a render. Oh, it's rerunning them. Just details in these. I need to sculpt the um, creases into the lips, I think. Although I'm wondering, like, what will I get from um, what will I get from ZBrush and what will I get from my painted displacement? Ready for some Call of Duty? I haven't played Call of Duty in ages. Like, I stopped playing it after Modern Warfare 2. Uh, oh, granted. I used to play it a lot up until the original Modern Warfare 2. Um, well, Black Ops 3, I think, was the last one I played a lot. Then the recent Modern Warfare 1, I played a lot. Then Modern Warfare 2, I played for about a month. But never really got into, like, the Battle Royale. I forgot the name of the mode. Warzone. Never really got into that. Uh, and I just haven't bought... Modern Warfare 3. 
I heard it wasn't that good of a deal, so I was like, fuck it. I don't need it. Yeah, there we go. Um, I might just end the stream. There's things I can be doing, but I'm just a bit burnt out right now. Um, we got things I want to do. So I might go do those things. Um, might you get my love on it for streaming this long? Ah, there's people who stream ridiculous hours. I'm more just burnt out because it's like... I've done a lot of shading and figuring out of new materials. So my brain's kind of like... maxed out for the day. I'm gonna very quickly alter the... iris though. Um... There's one thing I wanna do... Are these set to... Okay. Subdivide. So that's a two. And all I'm gonna do is just grab this edge here and extrude that in. Okay. Now I'll do the same on the other iris too. I'm not gonna worry about exactly how much I extrude it in. So like that will do. Um Sort of see if that does anything. View, still snapshot. It should make the irises, uh, the pupil feel a bit less fake. Might be too low res. Yeah, a bit too low res. Modern Warfare. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 is my jam right now. I was dragging my feet, but I've been enjoying it. Fair. That's the thing, like, I'm sure it's a good game. I just haven't played it myself. Hunt Showdown's a game I've been like eyeing up for a long time. Like a really long time. Never got around to buying it, but it's it's been on the list for a while. This bit's changing quite a lot. Um, I guess we could do some work on the eyes. And I could. Let's have a look. Um, textures. Eyes. I could super quickly just like make a UV set for this. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Um,. So, UVs, UV editor. Okay, let's undo a bunch. It's gonna do that, that, that. That has maintained UVs now. Um, okay, so then we'll do the same on the other one. So, one, two, three. They're not the same, but it's fine. I don't think anyone actually cares. Um, UV editing. Select one of the iris. Um, we're gonna copy to UV set. I'm gonna call this one. Now we'll just call it touch UVs. Okay, so we got UV set at. Uh, So 
So all we're going to do is just scale this down. Okay. Um, we'll go into the material for this guy. Grab a image node. Gonna go into completely out pipe, but I don't care. Um, okay, SRGB is fine. So all I'm going to do here is just get up nice and close. Beautiful. Um, let's go into that um, UV, UV set editor. Kill the render. Something closer to that, I think. And then grab the innermost UVs. So we need that back. Um, UV sets. So what we're going to do is going to mesh, uh, transfer attributes. We're going to transfer UV sets all by topology. Does the top one not match or something? UVs. Okay. Do I have that in place? I need to do a color correct. I hate spelling it the American way, but I have to. And I'll create a clamp as well. Exposure two.
slightly more green. Let's go 5 2. We also need to re-enable, delete the history, delete the history, that's already enabled. Cool, and I guess while we're at it, may as well just do the sclera too. Um, That's the sclera color. So, um, I need to line up the UVs of this as well. So that's not going to work by default, is it? Not far off. Bit broken. Um, so let's just quickly create UV editor. Sets, touch UVs. Okay. Ramp PVs might be better. Let's just try it. Lovely if I could see the material. I guess that's too much to ask. Um, okay, well, I guess we just render until it works. So we got Tesh UVs on the sky. Why is it not updating? There we go. Tesh UVs. Do that. Okay. the hair at. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's spelt different. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> um, UV set editor. Oh, 
That's more what I expect to see. This guy. Uh, mesh transfer attributes. We already got it set up, so we'll just do that. Then, if we go that, cool. Um, you reset editor. We're gonna remove this guy. It's almost the exact same, isn't that? Since I got my rarest, um, oh, wait, I missed it a few more than that. I played Black Ops two, uh, three, and Black Ops two. Yeah, favorite cods. Yeah, I think my favorite was probably. I mean, honestly, Call of Duty four was pretty fucking good when that came out. Although I'm gonna show my age a bit and say Call of Duty one was also really fucking cool. Like for when it came out, Call of Duty one was insane. I was pretty young, but I do remember it coming out and playing it, and it being pretty a pretty good competitor to Medal of Honor, which at the time was like the shit to beat. I mean, Medal of Honor was literally partially caused by fucking Steven Spielberg, so it had a lot going for it. Do a color correct here. Okay, view, still snapshot. Okay, so we're going to expose this down just a touch. So let's go. Minus 0.2. I'm gonna multiply by a slightly orange value. I'm gonna overdo it for a moment just to see where the values sit. I think that's alright. So then we just walk this back. That just makes the white a bit less brilliant. Which helps it sit like in the shader a bit better. I think a mistake a lot of people make is they make their whites of the eyes too white. And it ends up causing issues. Uh, I'm gonna set the map bias of this guy to negative four. Let's go all the way. I don't think there will even be four fucking mint maps for this. And the spec looks like that, which isn't actually spec, but I could probably use that as a bump. Or a disp. This bothers me a lot. Like the fact that the bump has this bulge in it. Like that's not it's not the way I'd do it at all. It'd be nice if it was like concavity 
normal and surface normal. Like, I might message James and request that, honestly. I think it'd be good. that spec um, it's gonna grab the iris material so it's gonna edit duplicate without network cool uh, and I'm gonna grab the spec I'm gonna use that as a bump so let's do bump it's gonna call this texture UVs nice already set up To replace this, don't I? Let's do a rumbo. I see diffuse is probably gonna be fine. So diffuse rough. Don't want reflection. Let's do an AB, shall we? I'll do an AB without the cornea. Okay, view, still a snapshot. It should look mostly the same, to be honest. Yeah, this one's a little bit brighter. Which will be the... Um, Multi scatter, I guess. Hmm, it's not, okay. That'll do. Why have you broken now? <laughs> to 
Irish EVs. That's fine. Just me, or is this going a lot slower now? This has gotten slower, hasn't it? Interesting. Okay, well I guess I'm sticking with the um, standard surface. Unless it's just a diffuse rough. Today. Um, let's check, see what we've done. Projects, person projects. Transfixed. Um, images, progression. Render cam A5. That's what we had at the end of last stream. This is what we have now. Oh. 
Materials a bit funky. RAB for the day. Question is, do I keep progression renders in the same lighting no matter what? So I have no idea how this looks in Renicam A or in Lighting A. It's something. It's too dark. It's too flat. It's too many things. Which to me just screams that the lighting itself is kind of fucked. So I'm gonna make the executive decision that I can change the lighting between the day renders. So this will be our render stream render. Um, actually, we'll keep that. Yeah, so that'll be the end of the stream today. I'm just going to let this render out and get all pretty and stuff. Um, then tomorrow, tomorrow will be kind of all over the place in terms of streaming because it is my birthday. So frankly, I have things I'd rather be doing. Um, but um, yeah, I might stream a little bit in the morning, um, grabbing lunch with some friends, and maybe stream a bit after. Um, but yeah, um, I probably will stream tomorrow. I just don't know how long. We shall see. Yeah, while we're here, does anyone have any questions, anything you want to ask or talk about before I head off for the night? refs a selfie. I mean, brother. <laughs> like, stop complaining about your fucking ref. <laughs> You've been complaining about it for a while now. Like, it's okay to struggle with it. It's fine. Um, but, like, honestly, the ref that you put in the chat is it's workable, okay? Uh, what folk alarm for selfie? Um, so I was doing that earlier today. Um, it looks like 28 millimeters is the correct focal length. Um, but just search like you know whatever phone they have. Search um, front-facing camera focal length, and then the model of their phone, and you'll get some general answers. But it should be around 28. Looking forward to like, getting all the freckles and stuff on here. That's going to be fun. Definitely need to uh, texture the lips a bit more, though. I look forward to getting groom on there, too. And I could, I could do some basic groom, but I think it's wise to not do that for a while. 
hope you have the best birthday ever. Um, there will be a birthday. Yeah, it will certainly be a day in which I get older. That's almost finished. Sorry about the complaint. It's fine, man. Um, you just gotta just just work to the ref. Um, if you're struggling with it, that's completely fine. It's pretty normal too. I mean, you've seen me struggling with this. Um, just just do it. And like, go back and forth. Um, and if you're struggling with it too much, it's it's fine to leave the project and go back to doing something else. Like, do some like creature sculpts or sculpts of famous people or whatever. Like, um, or just general character sculpts. It doesn't have to be a likeness. Um, and you might find you get more out of that. If you've been on the project for a while, that's completely fine. Um, but if you're really still stuck on it, then there's no harm in going back to it later. is gonna bug me now but yeah. um save image progression I'm gonna save that as version six and then file save as progression change that to exr cool um I'm gonna move the lighting Like to wear that 200 log, honestly. Let's do 210. The skin feels like it's glowing in the painting, so it's soft. Yeah, for sure. A lot of that is the lighting, like, it's super soft lighting. Like, you got the, the bright spec here. But, like, yeah, it's, it's, um,. It's going to be fun to kind of try to nail this, but a lot of it's going to come from lighting. It's going to be quite difficult to get, I think. about this. So I need to add a light to this. I quite like the way that looks. If I had a fill um let's go light area light. Move that off there. selected. Okay, so that's a eight.
that's warmer. I always get the um I always get them mixed up. Let's go to, go to twelve. Okay, so let's step that down. Let's go to ten. to adjust the hair now. Okay, let's make it more towards red. Let's go 23. And then I need to go forward and here with this guy. I'm also going to do 23. Mike was right. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I read there's something about the way this eye is lit that I really like. I'm gonna disable that so it keeps going. thing to do. I'm gonna come D. It's gonna select that. I need to clean up this too. God there's so much shit I need to do. What the fuck is when I come D? through Rendicam D. I'm going to temporarily turn this off. Select the iris. 107 is the distance, okay. Let's go into depth field. Actually no, Arnold. So let's do 106. Makes things feel a bit more photographic. Kind of like that background though. So, what I might do. God, I'm getting really anal about this. Um, so, what I'm going to do is. Let's go down light. So, I'm just going to call this dome light. And I'm going to make this invisible to the camera. And I'm going to duplicate it. And then make this one only visible to camera. One max bounce. Um, and then the rotation of that one was 300. 
now. Say 107. There we go. <laughs> Some hacky shit. It's like key. No, it's like key. Really, that's not working, but okay. clean up. I really want that background. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working, but oh well. Mari and Arnold are going to be sick. Yeah, Mari really makes a huge difference. down here. Might need to change the uh, defaults. What's that? It's a reflection of the hair, isn't it? Oh, it's, sorry, a shadow of the hair. Yeah, I'm just going to end the stream, I think, and just let this render out. I've already done the end stream render anyway. Um, but yeah, so that'll be it for this stream. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, as I said. Uh, I don't know what hours I'll be streaming. I know I'm going to go out to grab lunch with some friends. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see kind of where it goes from there. Um, but I will stream like a couple hours here or there. So uh, my main focus is going to be doing my own thing. Like If I feel like streaming, I'll stream. If I don't, then I won't. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to head off, because I keep saying I will, and I haven't yet. 
So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, if I don't, I'll be back on Thursday as per usual. So yeah, enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next one. Cool. See you guys.